Hi everyone, um, this is the third video that I have posted on my YouTube channel. So my name is Clara and um, for those that already know me, hi everyone. Uh, I want to give a massive uh, shout out to those at Whips Cross Hospital. I hope you're all doing well. Um, thank you all for your hard work during this time. And I hope you are able to find the opportunity to continue to practice your yoga, um, hence why I've created these uh, videos for you to view online. So just make sure before you begin that you have yourself, your space, your yoga mats or your exercise mat ready. Um, if you don't have one at home, um, you can actually take some towels and place it over a rug. So some like bath towels or beach towels, place it over a rug or place it on top of your carpet so you're not going to damage your carpet. And um, continue to practice your yoga that way because traditionally they used to practice on towels and rugs uh, before they produced these mats. Um, so that's another way that you can practice if you don't own a mat at home. So to begin, you want to be in a cross-legged position. You want to just have your arms um, Back of your hands, rest on your thighs, curl your fingers inwards. Take a moment here to either close your eyes or uh, look down and just gaze down towards the floor with your eyes open. And just start to connect with your breath. So taking a moment to breathe in. And breathe out. And start to connect with something they call ujjayi breathing. So as you take your next inhalation and exhale, I want you to imagine you are making a ha sound to, towards some glass. But you're going to do that with your lips closed, okay? So take an inhale and then exhale. And what you're doing here is you're narrowing the space between the airway passage. Just diverting that breath into the back of the throat, the very back behind the tongue. And then the carbon dioxide is exiting out through the nostrils. So you're basically diverting the breath. And this creates something known as victorious breath, which is the ujjayi breathing. So taking some moments here to settle in to ourselves, deepening and lengthening the breath. Now take a moment here to open your eyes and place your hands down onto your mat. So your right hand down onto your mat, fingers facing outwards. Place your left arm up, so fingers facing up, nice and tall towards the sky. Exhale, giving yourself a side stretch, using that ajay breath. Feel free to bend this elbow here. So as you breathe, you want to breathe into the space in between underneath the lower ribs and also um, the hips, the waistline. And then inhale, reaching your arms up and then exhale. Keeping that hip down, so forward and down onto the mat. So you're keeping that sit bone down there, helping to rebalance your pelvis position. So take an inhale here and exhaling. So what this posture is doing is it's basically just helping uh, our lungs to receive new oxygen and new airflow just underneath um, the rib um, area, okay? Just at the side of the wrist. This is also helping to um, take away any carbon dioxide out underneath our ribs. So take an inhale and exhale. 
And then taking your hands up towards the ceiling and taking your palms in front of heart center. Relaxing your shoulders down, pressing your palms into one another. Inhaling here and exhaling, twisting, using your navel to tuck inwards towards your spine. Taking your hand out, palm facing out, the other hand comes behind you. Inhale here, lift your heart forward, exhale and twist. So you're basically just rinsing out all um, the toxins here in between all our organs and creating new fresh blood flow to travel in and around our bodies. And inhale and lift the arms up. And exhale, taking the arms to the other side. Taking the inhale here. And exhale and twist. Keep the spine energetic and nice and long. We're drawing the navel in. Sending that blood flow back into the heart so that it could be reconnected back to our lungs for new blood to purify and clean throughout our systems. And then taking the arms up here, taking the exercise, taking the hands over our heart center. Take your hands down now into your tabletop position. Okay, and then from here, you're just going to sack the belly, lift the sit bones up, lift the heart up, take an inhale. Exhale, push with your hands, stone with your shoulders, hollow out your belly, tuck your tailbone down, looking in between your legs, into your cat pose, and then inhale, lifting your heart forward into your cow. So we're just ripping through with our spine. So this is just energizing all those nerve endings on either side of our spine. It's also helping to um, send um, some movement throughout those discs, helping to prevent them from degenerating. And inhale, lift and heart forward into your cow posture and exhale, rounding with your back, tucking your belly in, looking between your legs, into your cat. Coming now into your tabletop position. Now I'd like you just to take your sit bones down towards your heels, extend your arms forward, come into your extended child's pose. Feel free to grab a cushion and place underneath your forehead if you need, if your hips are really high. And take a moment here to breathe. So option here is to take your legs closer in together to get a more of a curvature into your spine. Helping to compress the stomach and the chest walls towards your thighs. Helping to loosen and detoxify any uh, fat around the belly and around the waistline. Helping to relax the mind so as our head is lower than our heart here in this posture. We just send some new oxygen around our brain. Helping to slow the pressure around our hearts, our artery walls. As we're here in child's pose. And then coming up. Um, Place your hands directly shoulder width apart, tuck your toes, lift your hips into your first downward dog. Look it down in between the legs, start to paddle out your feet, loosening the space between and around underneath the ankles. So downward dog, basically keeping the spine nice and long, tucking the belly in, allowing your ribs to come out towards the side. Again, the head is lower down and the heart is quite restorative from resting. Taking a moment here to settle into this posture, allowing your heels to come slightly more down. Lifting the toes up just to send that, um, the back of the legs to extend even more. So lengthening through the hamstrings and the calf muscles here, helping to increase flexibility to the back of the legs. And then inhaling, we're just going to walk our feet towards the front. Take our two feet in towards two hands and then drop down to forward fold. And then hold on to the back of the legs and lift your sit bones up. So try to find a way to open up the back of the legs. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. 
Keep tucking your belly inwards. Finds full of folds. They send a new fresh uh, blood flow down towards the brain. Dropping the hands here and then stacking one vertebrae onto the next. Again, increasing the health here towards our spine until we finally reach the top so our shoulders are above our hips. Taking an inhale, reaching the arms up nice and high, looking between two hands. Exhaling, nice long spine. Hinge at your hips, tuck your belly in. So extend in the length of your spine and extend in the back of your muscles behind your legs. Taking an exhale, looking towards the knees. Inhale, lifting forward, lifting your heart forward, shoulders back. Exhale, come down into a um, plank pose. So this helps to tone our legs, helps to tone our shoulders, improving strength. Bend the elbows if you find that your elbows are kicking out, okay, if you have hypermobility. So this is helping to improve bone density, helping to strengthen up our bones, producing better calcium and proteins here around our bones. Drop your knees, relax your feet, slowly take your heart a little bit more further forward so that you can drop it in between your two hands. Then rest your thighs, tuck your elbows in, take your shoulders back lift your heart up, okay? So this is basically creating some strength between the muscles, between the shoulder blades and spine, and also producing some fresh flow around our heart. It's very good for cardiovascular health. Pushing your hands up here, second your toes, back into your down facing dog, looking between two legs. Taking a moment to breathe, so, Start to tune in with you, your Ajaya breath. So remember, as you take a breath in through your nose, feel that breath all the way down in towards your navel. Okay, so you're expanding your breath. And then as you breathe out, you're making that heart sound at the back of the throat by keeping your lips closed, but making that heart sound, that ocean wave and sound in your breath. And then you're going to take your right leg up, slightly up, and then bend your knee, okay? Use your quadriceps to come in towards your chest. Looking forward, take your leg down. Feel free to travel that forward to the front. Drop your um, left leg down, flatten your foot. Release your hand, take your arm up, take a nice inhale, and exhale down. So just follow your hand here. Just Helping to circulate some motion around our shoulder joint here. Helping the spinal fluid to flow freely around our shoulders. Helping the tendons and muscles to open up. And creating some energy with some breath. Okay, and then you're going to basically try and bend the leg and then try and hold onto the foot if you can. Feel free to uh, make some extra padding with your mat by folding it um, upon one another towards the back underneath your knee if you need, or take a cushion and place it underneath your knee. Lift your heart up, look up towards the ceiling, turn your head. So feel that lengthening and opening into your thigh muscle, okay, of the bent leg. So this is going to help to release new blood flow in and around our reproductive organs, but also um, around um, our pelvis, all those tissues around the pelvis. Now, exhaling, looking down, you just drop that uh, back leg down, okay? Then you're going to lift your arms up, take a nice inhale, exhale, open yourself up, so lift your heart forward, so strong shoulders here, so, and muscles between our shoulder blades and spine are come in towards one another, okay? So this is strengthening up your rhomboid muscles. And then inhale, lift your arms up, and then exhale again into your capsule position. And then inhale once more, and exhale. Okay, this time you're going to um, tuck your toes, okay? And then you're just gonna try and lift yourself up. If you, can't, if you need some help, Feel free to come forward to get yourself balanced and then brush this back leg a little bit more in towards your body, okay? Then take your toes and lift your hip, the hips up. Okay, so it depends in terms of how you are. Make sure this knee is over the ankle. Take your arms up here 
And exhale, and take your hands back. So hold, so insect your fingers into one another, cross your thumbs, take your two heels towards your hands, lift your heart forward. Feel free as a modification just to hold onto your arms, okay? Or hold on to behind your hips. So from here, you just take an inhale, lift your heart forward. Exhaling, you're going to take yourself down in between inside of your leg. So breathe in here. So just open up your shoulders, loosening in the back of your neck, dropping the blood flow down towards your brain. So some new blood flow coming around the cells of the brain. And then inhale, lifting yourself back up. And then exhale, and just turning your back foot, find yourself into warrior two positions. This is very good for toning up your leg. Make sure your shoulders are over your hips, looking towards your middle finger here. And breathe. And now we're going to take your hand behind the back leg, turn your palm, look up. So extend like space between your ribs and your hip. And then you're then going to brush your elbow down towards your front thigh. Turn your arms so you get a deeper hip crease, okay? Then you're going to take your arm up, looking up towards the thumb. And then take your arm overhead to turn your palm facing down towards the earth. So you get that nice side line stretch throughout the side of your body. Push with your back heel, okay? Turn your toes slightly inwards. So you feel that nice extension from the sideline of your body. Breathe in here, looking down if you wish, or looking up, depending on what works for you. The more you look up, more you're rotating, more you're tucking your navel in, more you're getting um, some blood flow into this side underneath your ribs. There's a lot of um, nerve endings here, so we're just stimulating those nerve endings. And then taking an inhale, taking your arm back into your worry two, and then exhale, windmilling your hands down. Okay, take your right leg up, nice and high if you wish, okay, or halfway. Taking your leg down, reposition yourself back into your downward facing dog. So see if there's a difference in terms of how you feel between two legs. Feel free to paddle your legs out in this position. Keeping your fingers forward, make sure your fingers aren't crunched up like this, okay? So flatten and relax your fingers, allow the fingers to feel um, and be gripped in towards the mat. Taking the left uh, leg up here, bending the knee, drawing that thigh in towards the chest, taking the leg forward, see whether you get your leg directly in between two hands, dropping the right leg, flatten the foot. Okay, take an inhale here, reaching the arms up nice and high, and then exhale, just drop the arms and then take them past your body, lifting your heart up. And inhale, and exhale. So we're just increasing our heart rate. So inhale, exhale. So some anaerobic type of um, benefits that we're going to receive here from doing this motion, and inhale. And in and exhale. Okay, taking your hand to the inside of your leg, taking your thumb up, looking towards your hand as you sweep it and circle it across, open up that shoulder joint. Okay, so open the space in between your collarbone and your shoulder. Ah, nice. And now try and reach your hand behind that back foot. So then we're going to keep two hips facing down, but you're going to open up your shoulder, okay? Try and take the weight of your body down. The more you do that, the more you're going to have an opening on this back, um, this thigh here. And just breathe. So listening to the sound of your breathing. Are you breathing? Are you sending that oxygen into those places that are trying to open up? And then looking down on the exhale. Okay, taking that foot down here, taking your arms up nice and high, 
in her eyes and take your fingers in towards each other, open up the thigh, lift your heart up. Now find your way, so take your hands forward if you need, brushing your leg back, okay, if you need, to take yourself up, take your hands up, take an inhale, okay, and then exhale and taking your hands back and then crossing your thumbs, inhale here, lift your heart, option here to hold onto your hips instead, exhale and dropping yourself to the inside of that bent leg. Taking your head down nice and high, feel free to relax your back foot, okay? And then take your head even lower if you want a deeper stretch into this posture. And then inhaling, coming up, okay? And then from here, turning your back foot, come into your warrior two position. Okay, so keeping shoulders, and then squeezing your navel in, keeping the spine nice and long. Tuck the head, so we're keeping an energetic spine, okay? Nice and upright, stacking each vertebrae upon one another. Take the arms up in line with our shoulders. Squeeze the shoulder blades back, tuck the tailbone down, okay? And look towards your finger. And breathe. And then taking that hand behind the back of your leg, turn in the palm, lifting up, allowing some space and oxygen flow between your floating ribs and your hips. And then inhale, coming back. This time taking your arm down and then brushing it down, turning your palm facing down. Take your arm overhead and then take it literally over above your ear and look towards your hands, you're feeling that nice side stretch in your body. Keep sinking down with this front thigh. So imagine you're between two planes of glass, okay? So if you find your arm a little bit hard to control, imagine you're pressing onto some glass and then turn your arm over. So you feel that nice and entire side stretch. And then inhale and come back into your warrior two. And then exhale and turning your palms down towards the front. And then come back into your plank position. Okay. Then drop your knees and then drop your chest in between your hands. Relax your thighs. Take an inhale. Lift your heart into your cobra. Keep two ribs spiraling into one another. Keep your belly button pressed onto the mat. Keep with your shoulders back, okay? And exhale, take a step down. And inhale, back into your cobra. And exhale down. And inhale, back into your cobra. And exhale down. This time, pinning yourself back up, tucking your toes and lifting your hips into your down facing dog. And breathe. Then you're going to take your right leg up and then you're going to bend your knee and then place your foot in between your hands. You're going to lift yourself up nice and high into your crescent lunge. Turn your back foot and this time take your arms out and you're just going to wiggle your hands into triangle. So tuck your navel in, start to rotate with your ribs and look towards the front. Feel free to hold onto your shin. Okay, so triangle, Udita Trikonasana, so this extended triangle, really helps to um, energetically improve the quality of um, circulation and flow around your ribs. It also helps to tone your legs, stretching your legs, and also helps to rebalance your pelvis as well by basically extending and strengthening different parts depending on what angle you are positioned your body in. And then exhale and turn in your head, looking back. And then now we're just going to do the other side. So take an inhale here, and then exhale and move in and looking towards your thumb, back into your triangle pose. Keep revolving that stomach inwards. Keep twisting that hip so you feel that side stretch in between your lower rib cage and the hips, your waistline. 
and then inhaling, look it up towards the front, and then turn in your foot towards the front. This time, slightly pigeon toe your two toes in. So your feet want to be sort of your ankles underneath your two wrist, okay, as a guidance. Take your hands onto your hips, take your heart forward, lift up, inhale. Exhale, tucking your belly in and then folding yourself down, okay? Then you're going to hold onto the outer edges of your feet. If you feel you want the insides of your legs to be stretched out more, feel free to widen your feet even more, okay? If you want more of the outer side of your legs, keep your feet as they are, and then you're more or less going to work on um, stretching out the um, hamstrings, okay, and also the muscles behind the sit bones. Keeping your shoulders up here, keep squeezing your belly in. So again, our head is lower than our heart, so this is quite relaxing. Very good for nervous tension, stress, insomnia. This posture. Relax your shoulders away from your ears and allow your head to just keep hanging down. Imagine someone's putting a string on the crown of your head down. And then inhale, coming halfway by taking your hands to your hips. Exhale here and then inhale, lifting yourself up. Take your hands behind, intersecting your hands, lift your heart up nice and high, and then exhale, coming down, taking your arms over. Okay. So feel free to try the position if you're able to intersect your hands. Try to get your two heels to touch, crossing your thumbs. You're having a big open space between two shoulders, and then taking your head down, and then your arms to follow. So this is a really good opportunity to open up behind the back of your ribs. And then inhale, lifting your heart up and then coming up all in one line. Squeeze your thighs, it helps to lift you up as you do this, okay? Then you're gonna basically turn your foot around, then turn your other foot to meet. Take an inhale here, Lift your heart up and then exhale, fold and down. Bend your knees. And then inhale. We're going to lift ourselves up this time. And then exhale, palms in front of heart center. So we're just going to go into um, the uh, tree pose. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the weights, okay, onto your right leg and then come to your toes of your um, left foot. You're then going to um, turn your hip out, so either take the sole of your foot to inside the leg or place it a little bit more higher up, okay? So what's gonna happen here is your hips are going to shift in the direction of the weight of this knee, okay? So the weight of this knee and leg is going to shift your hips into that direction. What you want to do is you want to basically tuck your knee in, so you're going to use these muscles to bring you back into your midline. So you're going to tuck your navel in, okay, and then you're going to use the muscle here to open yourself up. So then you're going to feel an opening into your groin area. Pushing the uh, heel of the foot and the toes in towards that thigh and then pressing down with the heel and toes of the standing leg. And then you're going to be looking directly in front, okay? Taking your hands up here nice and high, and then bending out your elbows, and then just releasing your fingers into your tree pose. Another option is to take your hands in front of heart center and place it here. So it depends in terms of what you want to do in order to support your balance. And then just breathe. And now take your knee back okay, by hugging in this um, hip flexor. Take hold of the back of your foot, and then we just, so I'm gonna come into a side position so you can see me. So take a hold of the back of the foot, squeeze two thighs in towards one another. 
Take your front arm out in front, okay? Take the thumb and index finger together, have all three fingers pointing out, so we're coming to like a mudra here. And then you're going to basically just drive your foot in towards your hands, and then you're going to come forward, bend your elbow, okay? So I'm just losing my balance here as I'm explaining this. So basically you want to keep turning your hips towards the front and keep kicking your foot towards your hands. And then you're just going to keep bending your arm and lifting your heart up into dancer's pose. And then as you exhale, you're going to basically take that knee and then try and rebalance your hips and then release. Okay, so there's quite a lot on the standing leg. It's a very good way to strengthen our knees and to rebalance um, the position of our legs as well. Okay, so now we're going to put the weight onto the other leg. Come to the toes. Okay, so uh, beforehand you may, so this time, so mirroring your movements, uh, you're going to have your um, left leg in a standing position and your right leg with your toes up. Again, feel free to whichever position you are in. So I'm going to go into this position now. So I'm going to press my uh, feet in towards the inside of my lower legs. And I'm going to keep using the navel to tuck myself in here. Okay, and I keep rolling that hip out. Keep squeezing the sit bones, um, sorry, keep squeezing the glutes and I'm taking the tailbone down, keeping the stomach in. And I'm taking my hands in my heart center here. Okay, if you are in the other version, keep pressing that foot in towards your thigh, keep tucking that navel in, keep rolling your hips forward, but taking this leg out. Keep activating the standing leg quadriceps. And breathe. And now you're going, to take, you're going to take your leg back into position, hold, take your hand to the inside of the foot, okay? And I'm going to come back into this side now so you can see me. And then you're going to take your hand up into that mudra, take your two fingers up, bend your leg, okay? Try and level out your hips and then kick your foot into your um, hands and then keep your shoulder nice and open, keep your heart open, keep looking and gazing forwards. Okay, so keep kicking up, keep kicking up, and then slowly reaching your leg back down and then tilting your pelvis into a neutral position, taking your leg down. Take an inhale here, reaching your arms up, and exhale, stretching the back of your legs here. And then inhaling, and then exhaling, taking yourself into a seated position. Okay, so we're just going to um, work here on to, um, on our breath and also into an um, easy posture, okay? Or you can try um, full lotus which is taking your feet above your thighs and crossing them into one another, if that's what you're practicing, okay? So from here, I just want you to take your hands behind your back, lift your heart up, and then exhale, fold it down. And then you keep lifting your arms up. Again, taking our head lower than our hearts. And then using your muscles, your stomach muscles, to lift you back up. And now, you come on to the front of your mat. And we're going to do um, on, uh, the uh, shoulder stands. So as you come to the front of the mat, you take your hands either side of your hips. Feel free to get a blanket if you need to take it underneath your shoulders, okay? If you feel you need some extra support of your shoulders. Feel free to use the wall um, if you just need to help take your legs up, okay? 
And then you want to basically try and get your hips close enough so that your hips are here. So when you actually raise your legs up, we're then able to take your two ankles high up so that you're getting your legs up nice and high. The other option is to lie on your back and then just lift your legs up, okay? And then using your stunt muscles, so just trying to get your hips up. So that's one option. Or you can try and get one hip up. So you're just basically working on creating some strength in your abdominal muscles. If you feel you're able to get your hips up and you're able to practice shoulder stands, you take your two hands either side of your hips and then you're basically going to then bend your elbows, roll onto your back, tuck your thighs in towards your chest, not activate your stomach. Then you're going to roll using your stomach muscles to lift your hips up and roll onto your back. So I've just changed tucked my hairband out of the way, okay? Because you want to get the back of your head nice and flat onto towards the mat. And then you're going to keep rolling with your spine and your hips, okay? And then once you feel that space and your hips are nice and high, you can then hold onto your back and then tuck your chin in, okay? And lift your hips up. So make sure that your elbows are tucked in nice and high. So the way to readjust the surface is to take two knees, okay? And then you can then take your hands even closer, readjust yourself, use your stomach muscles to take your hips nice and high, okay? And then using your stomach muscles. So literally, my fledger ribs are here and then my hips are here, okay? And then I'm going to lift my hips up. Okay, squeezing my buttock muscles, squeezing my thighs, allowing to draw one line in between my two legs, pointing my toes. And breathe. So feel free to stay here and just breathe. I'm looking directly up towards your toes. Or feel free to play around and take one leg down, bring that back up, and then take the other leg down. Or you can take both legs down into your plow pose. Once your legs are down, try and then take your hands, intersect them, and take your hands down. And then just play this pose. Tuck your toes. Basically squeeze, spiral your inner thighs inwards. Keep tucking your navel in. So we're basically activating the thyroid gland here. So this is very good for helping to increase our white blood cell count. This is very good for helping to um, increase immunity, this posture. We're also doing a massive um, flexion with our spine as well. And to come out of the posture, you want to basically take your hands down flat and then one vertebrae to the other, rolling down. So if you were into your shoulder stand, you want to find your hands to come back either side of your mat, then take your vertebrae down, and then slowly with the uh, strength of your hip flexors, take your feet down, okay? And then once your heels are rested onto the mat, Reposition yourself, because I'm sure, like most people, you find yourself um, more down towards the front of the mat. You want to come in towards the middle of your mat, okay, so I'm going to lift myself up even higher. And then you're going to take your two hands underneath your buttocks, so tuck your elbows in, okay, two finger, uh, fingertips are pointing down towards your heels, you're then going to press with your elbows into the floor. So you use the floor to lift your shoulders up and then slowly tuck your head back. So you're balancing onto the crown of the head. Point your toes into your fish 
into Matsyatana, which is a fish pose. This is very good for helping to open up our chest, flexing our spine, flexing the back of the neck as well. And breathe in. And then to come out, you want to basically tuck your chin in towards your chest, relax your head down, slide your hands out underneath your buttocks. Take your legs out wide or bend your legs if you feel more comfortable in this position. Take your toes out to the side, turn your palms facing up, curl your fingers in. Relax the back of your neck by tucking your chin in and then just enjoy this moment of Shavasana. So just absorbing the benefits that we receive from doing our postures today. So take a moment here to notice your toes, to notice the balls of your feet, your arches, your heels, your ankle joints. Do they feel heavy? Do they feel soft? Your calf muscles, your knees, your thighs, your hips, your stomach, your ribs. Your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your palms, your fingertips. And then take your um, attention to the tops of your shoulders, behind your neck. And then your jaw, your lips, your nose, your face, your eyes, your forehead. And in, in draw an imaginary line above the crown of your head two lines with chalk and then just draw it down each side of your body left and right all the way down so drawing around your shoulders around the outside of your hands and arms underneath the inside of your arms towards your armpits now down each side of your torso down past your hips down past your knees then we're going down towards the ankles and then drawing that chalk underneath the feet and taking the chalk to the inside of the leg. And now taking that chalk towards the pelvis and then now we've drawn a line of each side all around all parts of the body. I want you to imagine that your body is now hovering above sand, so your body is placed above sand, and the sand is soft, and you're just, the weight of your body is just rested on top of that soft sand, everything from soft, light, comfortable. And then taking two feet together, pointing your toes, Taking your hands over your head, taking your, two, your fingers into one another, crossing your thumbs, and lifting the points up, giving an inhale and giving yourself a stretch and exhale. Stretch your body entirely from one point to the other. And inhale again, and then exhale, stretch. And now take your knees towards your chest, take your hands underneath your knees and roll onto your side. And then just stack your hips upon one another. Adjust yourself if you need to come closer onto your mat. And then take your hands and press your palms and place your hands underneath the side of your face. Feel free to grab a cushion if that feels better for you to place it underneath your head or place it in between your knees. Take a moment here to just breathe nice and softly. Notice the quality of your mind, quality of how you are feeling right now, the status of your emotions, of your senses. And then slowly find your way up back towards the top of that. And then take an inhale here, reaching your arms up. And exhale, take your hands off your heart center. 
So I hope you enjoyed today's practice. I hope you feel a little bit more opened up than you did uh, before the start of this class. Um, I do um, hope that you have a good day for the rest of the day or evening if you're practicing this practice during um, the evening after work. And um, yes, I will see you um, next week and um, I hopefully will see you, you guys soon, hopefully back in the studio at some point this year. Um, anyway, to everyone take care, um, stay safe and have a great day. Thank you.